we've had a great view all week here, and I want to get a couple of ways to remember this view, in fact. One of the things I'm going to do is capture a time lapse of the lookout here over the Ocean Bay. And to do that, I want to go for a long exposure. Now, you might be thinking, time lapse, long exposure, how are you going to pull that off? Well, a little bit of trickery, but it works. The big thing is to pick up a variable ND filter. This just screws under the front, makes it really easy to dial in the right intensity. Now, the lighting conditions, you might not think you need that variable ND filter, but by going to F22 on this lens and stopping this down all the way, I'm able to do things like eight second exposures. And while that may seem a little unusual, think of it this way. The water looks fantastic. Instead of a time lapse where everything is choppy and bouncing up and down, everything looks smooth. The clouds look really ribbony and the water just looks smooth. You get nice white froth and it makes for a better shot, whether it's a still or a series of stills that you assemble. So all I'm going to do is go ahead, get this connected, dial in the exposure I want, and then take advantage of one other essential piece of equipment, which is my intervalometer. Now, these are really cheap to get. I've got no problems using the standard generic versions out there. Just find one that works with your camera. Do make sure you keep some spare batteries. This is one of the easiest ways that they're going to fail on you is you're going to run out of juice. But the advantage here is that you can dial in the interval as well as the exposure time. Now, in this case, I'm just going to use the long exposure option and lock it into a start position. And it's just going to keep recording and recording until I'm done. Now, I'm not going to walk away from the camera, but I will leave the deck and just let it run on its own. This is going to give me some great shots. So let's acquire those shots, and then we'll put them all together and show you how the time lapse is made. 